Hey guys, welcome back to Kumsau Reviews. This is one I've been wanting to review for a while. It's Sentinel, their Maspita Legio. So, off the bat, I'm going to say, I just recently restarted watching Maspita. I don't really know much about the series. I'm like three episodes in. Legios was just shown. So, I'm reviewing this mostly as a product and not as a fan of the show. So, this kind of accuracy, this scene, this, that... I'm not the one for it. I'm sure there are plenty of other reviews out there that will give you that sort of, I guess, knowledge perspective, but not me. I'm just looking at this from, uh, is the toy good? Is the toy bad? Should you buy it? Should you not? You know, that kind of thing. I'm a product reviewer, not a show reviewer. But anyway, give me you guys a roundabout here. It comes in, it's jet mode. This is 148th scale. Lengthwise, it is about front to back nine inches. Now, this is going to be a recurring theme that you see during this review in all of its modes. My biggest problem is kind of the fin finish, just loose pieces. So you can see there, this is supposed to be held up by friction. It doesn't really hold well, that wing flap. The other side is fine. So I don't know if there's just some paint in the part that this clips onto that needs to be added or something like that to add some friction, but kind of disappointing. All right. On this, oh, and the fact that a lot of parts don't really clip into place, and the ones that do, they don't really seem to clip very well. So that's unfortunate. I do have the landing gear already out. We'll go ahead and start putting that back in, though. One thing I do like is that the panels are really well designed. So that part at least is good. Oh, can't forget that. So the engineering behind it Definitely isn't too shabby. It's just the execution, in my opinion, that leaves something to be desired. So there we go. Double flap. And we got that. I'm going to get this out of the way. Stand here. Clips into the back. Right here. As well as a peg right here. Now this has a vent cover as well. I've already got it off, so I'm not going to put it back on. Aesthetically, there's really no difference to it, so I just keep it off unless it's in robot mode because that part becomes its crotch area then and it shows. But while it's in its fiber mode, kind of a no harm, no foul kind of thing. So there it is. And when you get it clipped onto the stand well, it holds decently. You can see there even like right now stuff starting to become unpegged. That's just from basic handling, you know. Don't like it. So I'm going to raise the camera up a little bit more so that you guys can see it. Okay. Get this guy centered. Make sure we're focused. And we'll actually angle this down a bit more. And the nice part about this is that it holds well, so you can actually rotate it and things like that, give you guys some different views. Now I'm going to move this out of the way. Because when it comes to the jet, it's pretty straightforward. And I want to look at the little miniature rider figure that it comes with. All right. There's nothing really defining about it. It is masked. Comes with a cyclone as well. Let me zoom in there so you guys can actually see it. Very tiny though. All right, now this figure is fragile as all get out. Comes apart like crazy. It's just not a fun piece to mess with. About one and a half inches tall. I think one and a half inches on the dot. Get this out of the way. Now there is a removable stand for the bike. If you don't have the stand on, the bike doesn't move, so I don't know. I wish they would have just molded something onto the bottom so it could stand straight. 
since it doesn't have a kickstand or anything like that. But it's hard not to get my hand out of the way, but it is a actual poseable figure. But really small ball joints on it. Limbs fall off quite easily. But it does even have like let's see if you guys can actually see this. It's so hard, it's that small. You can see an arm fell off there. It's just a floppy something little figure. I mean, I'm not gonna go too crazy trying to get this post or anything like that because it's pretty tough, right? And again, it's so small that I don't really know how to handle this without getting this in the way. Put it on the bike later. But for now, we're actually gonna get him inside of inside of Legos. And again, it's just one of those fit and finish things to where it's like, come on, dude. If you're gonna include the little minifigure, which is awesome, props for that, especially making it fully posable, you know, have it not fall apart. At this point, I would have rather had two miniature statues, like one for the bike, one for the jet. That were just static, so you're not having to put them all back together or anything like that. All right, so let's zoom in on that. There we go. There it is with the, the hatch up. Okay, on to the next. Okay, and per the instructions, it showed how to put it into a Gerwalk-esque mode. It's just basically bringing the legs down, so no arms on this one like Valkyries and the like. It's different. And for this, I switched out the stand adapter. Definitely not bad. Make sure we're straight there. Good stuff. On to the bot mode. Ah, before I move on, I almost forgot how to show or to show how to attach the blaster onto here. So you saw I just took off that magazine and it can clip on top like so where the magazine went, or for the wings, zoom out a bit here, it comes with these adapters that clip into the side of it, so, leave, if I'm doing this correctly, clip it into the side first, and then yeah. Attached to the bottom of the wing. Okay. Make sure we're focused there. So you can see how that looks. And honestly, if it had two blasters, that would be cool. Really cool. So yeah, but that's for both the Gerwalk and the fighter mode. Alright, and here's Legios in its robot mode. Measures to about... Just under six inches tall from this perspective. So, not a very big body, even though it does have a very imposing body style. Alright, quick roundabout. Good detail, and the sculpt is absolutely amazing. My problems just come with... Uh, I guess more fit than finish because it's a nicely painted piece and the like. Tampos are amazing, but it's just the construction of it. And we'll get into that in a little bit. First, we'll go over the gimmicks just so I don't forget to go over them. This missile launcher in the back, it clips on and off. Nice hard clip. We'll leave it off. I like the way it looks better with it off. 
you can see there, that's just one of the things I'll talk about. Like the shoulder not locking into place, it's just goofy. But in terms of gimmicks, missile pods, missile pods everywhere. So on each side, has a missile pod on the shoulder. All right. Fairly symmetrical. This piece goes up and down. And even this being kind of like loosey goosey, it's goofy. This one already kind of came out on its own, but on the forearm, missile pod. And then on each of the legs, the cool thing about the legs, it's like that. This bottom one threw me through a loop, but it actually pushes forward. And then you can uh, take it up from there. So, of course, I got to make it look a lot harder than it is, but yeah. All right, so remember on this one, because it doesn't have a notch, both of these or whatever, push them forward and then out. But there we go. Right, get all that stuff back. All right, and that's another piece that annoys me. The flaps on the wings here. Don't necessarily come out easy easy. If it's just on display and stuff, it's fine. But they're flaps that you need to move for the sake of transformation and with them coming off, you know, easier than I'd like. I'll say it like that. It makes for a bit of an annoying time in play. Now, I'm not gonna lie. Before this review, I went ahead and future polished the heck out of the ankle joints, both the ankle itself and then the extender that kind of lets them rock back and forth, that deal, as well as the hips. This is just a loosey-goosey piece in general. Um, a lot of people tend to, I don't mean it negatively, but cope with these kinds of issues in saying that, well, the one from 1980 or 1990 XXX was a lot worse than this one. And it's like, I don't, I don't give a shit about any of that stuff. I didn't buy a figure from 1990 whatever. This isn't a retro release. It's something that I bought now. And it's great that it's better, but it should be better considering, you know, with a lot of these, there are 20, 30 years of technology advancements in between them so that doesn't really hold any weight in terms of conversations it's not like this was released two months ago we're talking decades so and also i guess you have to set a standard and a precedent if you just eat shit with no complaint what keeps a restaurant from serving you shit repeatedly Especially if you're willing to pay for it. Why not? It's a lot easier than having to prep food or anything like that. Right? I think so. And I'm not necessarily saying it's on the level of defecation or anything like that. But in terms of today's like class and quality from pro companies like Bandai. Um, Action Toys with all of their brands. Like the Pose Plus Metal series. Like that kind of stuff. Even Signal when it's actually doing its best. You know... It's hard to look at something like this, and we'll get into it when we're posing and stuff like that, and say, like, this is okay. This is $250 worth of okay. I am okay with this purchase. No, I, it's not something I would recommend on that level. Some people just want a Legios to have and display and look pretty, and it will do that for you. But anyway, getting into the um, articulation here. Really good up and down tilt on the head. 360 there all right this actually moves up a little bit that's more for the transformation than anything but gives you some extension there all right so these are supposed to be for the sake of transformation always swung to the front but it's a piece that and that's another thing that annoys me it feels like nothing on this locks in place in between modes and it's just one of those little fit and finish type deals that shows a level of care and pride put into a product and this just doesn't have it i went over the shoulders and things like that but even with the wings you know sliding those into place the shoulders nothing locks those into place like this kind of stuff it's okay because it's supposed to set and it's fairly heavy there's some things where friction is fine 
But for the pieces that, you know, like the shoulders and things like that, that shouldn't be sliding up and down. There should be something that locks it in place. It's just a really bad look, especially for something that's modern, you know? And that's a hill that I'm willing to die on. Some people in the comments will say, and again, they'll bring up this like it was from 1990, whatever by this company was this and that. I, I don't care. Don't, don't bring me that seriously. All right. So going over the articulation. So when it comes to the swivel, it does exist. Just have to kind of know how to utilize it. All right. So it's a hard turn just because of the way that joint's shaped. I don't want to snap anything or this or that, but it does have tilt. This one swings and you can see it 360s a lot better than the other side. And even this, the chest doesn't lock into place. It's goofy. All right, and then we're readjusting the shoulders again and all kinds of stuff. It's just silly, all right? But you can see that it does have that swing there. All right, so parallel. Oh, bicep does 360. The forearms have separate twisting as well, more for the sake of transformation than anything else. Now, double jointed elbows, but because of the size of the forearms, it really doesn't go much past 90, but it's nice. Not gonna complain there. So the wrists, on ball joints, all right, thumbs can move, then the trigger finger and the rest of the fingers, index and the rest of the fingers move individually. Waist, full 360 there, I'm not gonna do it. Ab crunch, that's another area where I did add some future polish, pretty loose. Outward, not too crazy much, but it's enough to get a, like a solid A stance. So no sidekicks, all right? Front, back, and again, the hip has been future polished. Be prepared to do something to stabilize it, if you care. All right, so just saw the knees. Ankle tilt, and this is with the ankle extended, so it can pop back up in there too. All right, and then it doesn't have quite as much, but still a decent amount. All right, back. And Make sure that everything's down. All right. Doesn't really kick forward, but movement in the toe and then the foot. And that's about it in terms of articulation. In terms of accessories, he really only has the gun. Take a look at that in a second. And putting the blaster into the hand. Now, I haven't had too bad of a time with the fingers. People have been complaining about them popping off. I have had the thumb pop off. But, honestly, for the most part, it's been pretty fun once I got used to kind of how it moves. So, thumb pretty limited in range. And once you kind of recognize that, it's a lot easier to deal with. But just slide it in. Make sure the trigger finger's around. And then... Class ahead, and then of course while I'm doing it there, it starts to get out. So try that again. And there we go. Make sure he's gripping as tight as possible. There's that. In fact, I actually think that since it's kind of cool, I wish that that rotated a little bit easier, that bicep, but. Yeah, 
little bit more bent. And there we go. Not the most epic pose ever, but it's something. Okay, so with the stand, I've just got the different adapter pegged onto the end. Just pops on and off. There's an area underneath that it pegs into, that taint area. It's pretty standard. I haven't went about tightening the screws in the stand, so I'm not going to do anything too crazy with them because it will tend to topple over. See what I mean? In fact, I might have a screwdriver here so that I can actually show you how it goes. And that's all you do. Still not going to get too crazy. <laughs> Turn it a little bit that way. Bring a leg forward. Bring your shoulder back. Let's get underneath this guy. And we'll get little, little Mosquito Rider in there as well. Or the camera a little bit more. And maybe see if we can't. Just for the sake of being able to zoom in. Yeah, that's a good look. Hopefully you guys agree. I know it's got to get old watching me post stuff on camera, but I enjoy doing it. It's fun. And there we go. Again, this has been Sentinel, the right about line, Legios from Maspeta. Honestly, um, if I had to score this, it'd be like a 6, 6.5 out of 10. Excellent, excellent, excellent design. The sculpt is amazing. The finish the paint the tampos like it's a great looking legos like there's pff, no doubt about it the fact that it comes with the minifigure and things like that it's just it's a good package on paper but when it comes to let me get the box out of the way so you guys can actually focus on the figure when it comes to just like i said previously the fit and finish of it all that's where it starts to fall apart. From the bot itself to even the minifigure, there's just stuff that's plain falling apart on this guy, and it's a shame. Things don't lock into place like they're supposed to, you know, just loose joints and this and that. It's just not a piece that I'm feeling a lot of pride put into, you know? So, and that's me. There are people, again, that are going to be fine with this, but... In reading the forums and things like that, I it seems like everybody pretty much agrees with me, especially on the joints and the like, um, whether they're able to, I guess, deal with it a bit better than me. That's subjective, but the fact remains, it's what you're getting out of the box. It's something that you're going to have to make concessions for in order to enjoy. And at 250 bucks, I don't really believe that that should be something that you literally have to do. It's unfortunate, but we'll see where they go from there. This has at least a red and a green variant coming, I believe. So there will be more loosey-goosey reviews in the future. But anyway, let me know what you think of this guy in the comments. Thank you guys, as always, for the support. Like, share, subscribe, and check out the full written article and gallery on kumsal.com. I'll see you next time.